Hi everyone, it's Trevor here from astrobackyard.com and I am not in the backyard right now. I am camping at Long Point Provincial Park in Southern Ontario. So I don't have my regular deep sky astrophotography set up with my telescope and my tracking mount. Uh, I have my portable setup, which is the Ioptron Skyguider Pro. So this little mount tracks the night sky the same way my Skywatcher HEQ5 does, uh, just on a smaller scale. So what I'll be mounting to this is a DSLR camera and a wide angle camera lens. The biggest thing I love about this mount is its portability. It's a, got a lithium ion battery, so you're not plugged into anything, you can take it wherever you want to go. So later on I'll probably take this, this to the beach and get some nice wide field Milky Way shots. So the, it has a polar, polar finder scope here, cap is, cap is on good. So you align it uh, with Polaris, the North Star, and then uh, with this ball head mount here you can put your DSLR and your wide angle lens on and get some uh, tracked shots of the Milky Way. One of my favorite features of the Ioptron Skyguider Pro is the different tracking speeds that you can set. So if you leave it at the default regular one time side reel rate, that's enough to do long exposure photographs of the Milky Way and have sharp stars. But you can set it to a half speed rate if you're doing some nightscape shots where you want the landscape to not be all blurry, but you want to have those benefits of the tracking the night sky as well. It's very simple to get this mount ready to go. Basically you just need to get it polar aligned. So this is the polar finder scope that works just like uh, my Skywatcher HEQ5 at home, just on a smaller scale. So the polar finder scope that I was talking about, aiming straight at the North Star is here. Put the cap back on when you're done and attach this nice little adapter here. And then I've got my ball head uh, for my DSLR camera. So I'll take the shoe off here, I'll put my camera on here, and then I can aim this absolutely wherever I want, even, you know, backwards, which is exactly where I'm gonna be aiming it, so to get the Milky Way. It's very easy to make a, a latitude adjustment here. Uh, you just pull this lever out and unlock it, and then by twisting this bolt here, you can see it going up and down, and you get it to your correct latitude, uh, for wherever you are, happen to be on Earth in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, in my case. And then once you've got that spot, viewing it through the polar scope here, you simply lock it down and you're good for the night. So I'm just down at the beach now and uh, I've moved the, uh, the whole rig down here. It was super simple. The Milky Way is stretching right across the sky and I've got my Canon 7D uh, with my 17 millimeter wide angle lens on the Ioptron. And uh, if you want to follow over here, you'll check out the 30 second frame of God.